What's happened? Reporting, my lord. King Elda has... Has what? He's... His Majesty has disappeared, my lord! King Elda was grievously injured. Where could he? Ingobert, I'm sorry, but... If you wish to flee with your father, I shan't stop you. I'm not fleeing! I jest. Now get going. Thank you. Lord Bont! I'm told father has vanished. Forgive me. I only took my eyes off of him for a moment. <laughs> Do you know where he may have gone? In my youth, I often heard whispers. Whispers of a hidden passageway leading into the castle. You think he's using that to sneak into the grounds? It's possible. Lilith, I must leave you here. Hold the line for me. All right, but will you be okay? Yes. So you have come. This is madness. How do you expect to infiltrate the castle with so few soldiers? Have you any other proposals then? I shall go. Hand over the ring. What? Have you gone deaf? <laughs> now return to the front lines. What will happen if you find Stern? That is not for me to decide. Mother is alive! Is that so? Please, tell Stern that she yet lives. It may be his only hope. So, you've come after all. What a coward you are, tiptoeing in through the rear entrance. Coward, you say? Allow me to return the insult in kind. What did you? What else have I found here but scared little rats scampering into the dark? You wish so dearly to stride into battle, yet when the war horns sound, you turn tail. Run! Elda, I came here to bury you once and for all. Do you understand why I've come here, Stern? To save Masheri, or some such nonsense, I'm sure. I came so that we might speak, you and I. Your words matter not. They cannot change my convictions. I have brought the ring I lent to Mont. The ancient relic bestowed upon Leonis generations ago by Gilgamesh himself. <laughs> this is what you wanted, is it not? To wield this ring's almighty power on the front lines? What of it? Strike me down here, and it is yours. Dream come true, is it not? <clears throat> there is but one condition. <sighs> Taking this ring as your own means you succeed to the throne of Leonis. This is why I am here. To see if you have the resolve to become king. It matters not! I'll kill you! Have at me. I shall remind you what it means to carry the blood and pride of Leonis in your veins. The King of Leonis. Is this all you have to offer? <laughs> Impressive. 
impressive, Stern. Why? Why did you come here? I already told you to meet with you. You were in no shape to fight. And yet you thought you could best me. Wounded or not, I never believed this old body of mine could match yours. Then why? As I said, I simply hope to meet with you. <laughs> you know full well that I have always been such a man. There's no reason that I would change that now. So, I am not asking you to understand. But... There are certain things that cannot be conveyed without words! The time is nigh. Uh. Stern, make your decision. Will you take this ring as your own? What of Mont? Mm -hmm. Did you press Mont with the same decision? No. Why? But a few moons have passed since Leona's castle was abandoned. And yet, Mont has grown by leaps and bounds. I know. I have never underestimated him, nor will I now. You believe you can best Mont? You insinuate that I would lose? And so you insist that I take this ring from you? Make your own assessment, and then make your decision. That scoundrel, Command Veritas of the Light. Was I mistaken in bequeathing a ring to the Rundals? Who goes there? B wait, please. I am no foe. You are the winged one, are you not? What does such information matter to you? Your pursuers are approaching fast. Quick, this way. Why do you help me? If we are found here, you will not escape unscathed. The name is Seymour. I'm a samurai from the East. <sighs> They're here. not found him. No, sire. It is possible that his wounds were not severe enough to prevent his escape. So be it. Hmm? Still haven't learned, huh? Very well. We'll return to Rundal after dispatching this lot. What of the assault on the Sanctum, sire? We are done here. I need not the crystals, nor do I need the church enfeebled. Then why? Don't you understand? What do you think Sadali will do when he sees what he has returned to? Imagine his pretty little face contorted with disgrace and rage. It's beyond exciting, wouldn't you agree? Y yes, sire. Or at least that's what Lucia kept going on about. I must admit, though, that her enthusiasm has piqued my interest. How dare you! We'll crush Rundal right here and now! Obliterate them! What is it? Are you weary? It is still some way before we reach Horn. I know. It's just that... 
We've been ordered back to Horn Castle to check up on Lord Dario. But now that I think about it, I don't know anything about him. He's never left his chamber since as early as I can remember. Ah, oh, that's true. Big Brother, do you know much about Lord Dario? I often played with His Highness as a child. Oh? What kind of person was he? As average as it gets. Alas. Alas? Lord Dario bears the clairvoyance to see his enemy's movements. But that is the least of his true powers. Wait, what do you mean? Let me put it this way. A small flame may offer comfort on a dark, cold night. Yet the same flame can level forests with a ferocity far beyond our control. Likewise, there cannot be life without water. But a raging torrent will sweep away people and homes without hesitation. So what you're saying is that Lord Dario's magic is dangerous? I suppose so. He himself knows that his powers are nigh uncontrollable. He learned as much the hard way. The hard way? Lord Dario and I loved heading out on what we used to call adventures of a sort. Adventures? Where? Right around here, actually. Wait, hold on. You came all the way out here when you were kids? Indeed we did. Unbelievable. Then the monstrous came. That day, another of Lord Dario's friends happened to be accompanying us. That friend. Not... the monsters. The attack sent Lord Dario into a state of panic. To save his friend, he threw whatever magic he could at the monsters. The magic that you said he can't control? So, by the time the dust settled, both the monsters and his friend were... I suppose you can guess the rest of the story. So, that friend... Lord Dario feared his magic from that day onward, and he has since resigned himself to his quarters. Let us keep going. <laughs> Lord Mont. Apologies, Lilith. Do you worry for King Elda? Yes. I cannot shake this feeling of unease in my heart. We can hold the line. You can leave it to us. Are you sure? Of course. Do what you must. Thank you. Forgive me, Lord Mont. If only there was more I could do. Father must be close. Stern as well. I've got to push onward. Father! Father! This wound is grievous. Who could have? It was stern, was it not? Listen to me, Mont. Do not blame him. But, Father. Stern was only doing uh, what he. Also, fulfill your destiny. Mont. Father. Sorry, Mont. I hope you...
Stern, show yourself. Why did you kill father? Answer me, Stern! Mother is still alive! What reason could there have been for a father and son to cross swords? Oh, there were plenty of reasons. Stern. Perhaps you noticed that Elda's hands bear no ring. Yes. Stern. If you want it, pick it up. But know this. If you pick it up, consider yourself the king of Leonis. I shall take our father's place on the throne. Very well. Your declaration of war is accepted. If so, let us not waste our breath here. The decisive battle will be fought fair and square upon the battlefield. I'll be waiting for you, Mont. I swear by the royal bloodline, Stern, I will defeat you. <laughs> <laughs>